are here. I got Tony that's here from Wisconsin Anglers. Tony's actually helping me do some videoing and editing as well, but today's gonna be part of the video. Where you at, Tony? You hiding back there or what? No, I'm here. Oh, all right, there he is. Tony just had knee surgery too, like what? A month ago? A month ago, yeah. Just had knee surgery, so he's hardcore. He's right back at it, moving around really well. So the goal today, guys, is we are gonna go out. We're gonna shoot some really cool videos, but we're, we, I wanna teach you how to troll crankbaits for fall king salmon and cohos, because you get them both, and you get occasionally big brown trout. In the fall, you get an opportunity. You know, uh, one of the easiest things to do if you haven't done this style of fishing is to troll your walleye style crankbaits. I'm gonna show you that. We got early light. I heard the fish are biting. Let's go. You ready to go rock and roll? Hell yeah. Let's, let's go. Hell let's go. yeah. Here we go. Let's launch the boat and go. Oh, look at that. That's skill, boys and girls. And that's the way we start off today's video. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to troll some crankbaits basically at the mouth right here of Port Washington. This bike kind of goes on everywhere, up and down the whole coast. We're gonna just troll some walleye cranks. We'll show you here in one sec once Tony gets the cameras all set up. You ready, Tony? Hell yeah. I'm gonna make you reel in the first fish. I'll start <laughs> setting them up. So the one thing I'm gonna do is, is the first thing I, I really pay attention to is like on my live scope, I can see where the fish are right now. They're down like 25 feet. So I'm gonna have to immediately let out a lot of line. So if I see the fish up high, I'll run these crankbaits back maybe 70 feet. If I see them down 20, 25 feet, I'll run them back 120 feet. So you gotta have enough line. And uh, it can kinda get crazy in front of these harbors and stuff, the fall salmon fishing. So typically I tell people, go in on your right, come out on your right. That's the way, the rules of the road. So here we go, let's go fish. All right, so initially when I'm setting up here, I'm really paying attention to my live scope to see where the fish are in the water column. We're starting to see them about 15 feet down. So I'm gonna let out anywhere from about 90 to maybe 70 to 120 feet of line on a, and vary these crankbaits. So we're just gonna spin big circles right around the river mouth. Hang on. Good start. We missed one. First pass. The 15-pounder has grown significantly. I'm going to attempt to be part videographer and part net man with one hand. Have you ever done that? Uh, yeah. All right. Sometimes it doesn't go the great. Yeah, well, we're going to find out. Nope, nope, nope. One more. Yep. Well, over here. Okay, okay, I'll come over there. Oh, shoot. Wait, wait. Back over here. Back over here. Okay, okay. Okay, lift, lift. Damn it. Trying to put the boat in neutral, damn it. Ah, reel down, a little bit more, reel a little more, a little more. <laughs> yeah. Got him! Ah, got him! Got him! Got him! All right, brother. Uh, yeah, I'll hold that so you don't drop that or the fish. So my 15 pounder did grow. Oh. Yeah, he did. Holy sh. Yeah. Deep diving clicker shad. Cool, let me get him out and get a picture with you. That's hard. That's a hard. Come on, Tony! <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Go oh, like you had it. Like that. <laughs> Dude, this is not supposed to be this much fun taking a picture of Tony. Dude's got milk. <laughs> Lift him up a second. <laughs> Yeah, that's a great starting fish. Yeah, I've never, you know, I don't... Why not? Fish, fish, three. Yeah, another one? Yep, same rock. Same? Same bait, yeah. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. 
your hooks a lot of your crankbaits especially on your flicker minnows you might you might get one fish so bring extra hooks like a gamagatsu ewg you can even go to the 2x ewg but i use uh i upgrade the hooks the next thing is when you're going to run your crankbait if you put it in the water and you give it a little pull a surge just to make sure it's running straight it's running off to the left then you're going to need to take a flyer or something and you're going to need to tune the eye a little to the right. So tune it left, tune it right, and then just by that little point right there, you take the pliers and move it left to right. So make sure your crankbaits are running straight and hang on. We've already caught one, but we're like one for four, one for five, kind of slow. This, this, this. Another one? Yep, right here. Hang on, don't be all yours. Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Yeah. It's not even Pe letting me try. No, well, people want to reel them in right away, and it's like, well, why don't you just hang out? Tony got himself a 27, a 37, and a 47 pounder all before work one morning. <laughs> Big old oh, fat, yeah. greasy mama. She's just holding now. See, but that one took. Uh oh, uh oh. What, another one? We're not allowed to do this, are we? Oh, sh. Here we go! Oh yeah, we're hooked up on a big one. Yeah, baby, let's go! Yeah, man, Tony is hooked up on a big one let's again. Go. He's shooting a YouTube video on how to troll a big king. Big one. Our crank beating him up this morning. Hit it, Tony! All right, I better turn this down so we don't have any copyright issues. Have to turn the music down because we're jamming away good tunes. But instead, what we'll do is I yeah we'll catch a fish and I will provide you your music for today's video. It's basically a little banjo. What you said you wanted banjo with a mix of rap, a little bit of flute, a little bit of flute. All right, we'll get that going. And then uh... <laughs> Eric's a really good flautist. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Man, we've had a lot of rips so far this morning. Oh, oh, oh. Just no. no, no way, no way, dude. dude. We just lost another one. She just jumped and came off. Fish, 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 fish. Oh, I saw. No. One for ten? Yeah. One for nine? One for nine, I think. Unbelievable. New hooks, sharp hooks. Like, I don't know, maybe I need to stop at the local church here and start repenting because something is going wrong. The Lord is crashing down upon me. Jesus said, teach a man how to fish, teach a man how to lose a fish in this boat. Teach a man how to fish, he can catch a fish the rest of his life. Come my boat, teach a man how to look what a fish looks like biting your bait, and that's about it. 
Today's video is how to lose fish on crankbait. <laughs> yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That's all you. That's all you. I'm gonna go visit that little church. I just started talking to God, having some prayers, saying, Lord, what? I need to repent or what? Because we have lost more fish today than I have lost probably in two years corn. We just smoking fish up. Pony fight one for 20 minutes, you know, and it comes off. I, I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna take that board off. You know what? You think you can get him back in the middle without getting stuck in this stuff? Uh, uh, we'll find out. Okay. Still on? That's almost three. Yeah. That's three in the last yeah, you like know, ten. You know where we need to control them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fish. Yeah. Fish on this one? Yeah. Yeah. Bring it up here. Here, walk back with this. What fish is this? Quick, grab it, grab it, grab it. We're good. All right. Clear. What the hell is kind of going on? We got fish, right? We got fish? All right, hold on. Damn. Here, All right. Might as well just shut the, put the boat in neutral. I got to drop you off anyways. Yeah. Tony's got to go to work here, guys. I'm going to keep fishing a little bit. Look at this. Yeah. 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 Big mama. Yeah. Big mama. Thank you, brother. Yes, sir. All right. Big mama. That was interesting, wasn't nice it? Nice job. <laughs> that was interesting, yeah. All right, guys. So here's the deal. We're going to hold this fish up real quick. And I got to go drop Tony off at the dock because he actually has to go to work. He has a J-O-B, a real job. Ah! Big mama! There she is. There she is, big mama. All right, guys, we gotta go drop Tony off for work. Here's here's one quick trip I want. Let me let me let me start that over. Here's one quick tip I want to share with you guys. You can catch them on crankbaits, and soon the bobber bite will be great. This is a female. First thing you do immediately when you get a female. You cut, the, you cut the gills out on the fish because you want to bleed the fish out. You want no blood in your eggs. I'm just going to grab a little scissors. It's good for the meat quality. If you're going to eat them, bleed out your fish. But if you're going to skein fish and you catch a female, make sure you bleed it out immediately. I guess we know where we should have stayed and fished. Yeah, I think so. Right? Yeah. We made one pass, guys. We trolled out in front here. We had great action today. I think we hooked probably 10, 11 fish. Uh, we've landed two so far. We made one pass on the inside here, and boom, we doubled up, or we almost had three fish on right away, so. All right, I gotta drop Tony off, and uh, I'm gonna come back out and fish for a couple hours, see if I can catch a couple more mamas. Trolling, I'm just gonna stay right here inside uh, the harbor. All right, so I'm just getting back out here. Went and grabbed uh, some lunch, and uh, dropped, Tony off. I'm gonna. He's got to go work for four hours, and then I'm gonna probably meet up with him later. I'm just gonna go see if I can give uh, this time of the year. Um, I've got plenty of salmon. Uh, I'm gonna keep the eggs from the female, but I'm gonna give. Uh, you can keep five fish per person per day. So I'm gonna give these two salmon away. See if someone wants to eat them. A lot of times, plenty of people uh, will keep the fish, and they're still okay, smoked or canned. I got a couple salmon. Do any of you guys want them? Yeah, sure. Okay. There you go, buddy. Appreciate it. Yep. Appreciate it. Enjoy. Thank you very much. No problem. All right, I'm just getting back out here. Gonna make a couple passes in the harbor here. We just made one half a pass. We hooked up right away, right along the wall. A lot of times inside the harbor can be great or right outside the mouth, so. Letting out about anywhere from 70 to 100 feet of line with these deep diving flicker minnows. I'm just running a couple planter boards because there's really nobody in here and I'm just gonna kind of spread out a couple of baits. 
Make a couple passes on the inside. If I don't get bit, I'll fish the outside. All right. Which one's gonna fire first? Flat line, outside. There we go. Fish on, right there. Oh, and fish off. Okay. This is right where we hooked up before. Man, am I missing them though. You can just see a couple big head shakes. Sharpen the hooks, everything, I don't know. All right, I gotta grab the net. I do think I got ourselves a little coho. This would be dinner. Gonna see here in a second. Nice coho. Nice coho. Yes. Really nice coho. Nice big coho. Beautiful fish. That's gonna be a great eating smoking fish on a crankbait. All right, fish on, on the turn. Might be a coho. That was on the fast side, the knee shine crank. What do we have? It's not that big. It's fighting like a stick. Oh, it's something little. It's a little shaker. It's a baby. What do we got? A little king, a little brown trout. Maybe a little coho. Looks like a little, looks like a little coho. Looks like a little coho. Do I want to keep a coho and eat a coho? Another one? Sure. Might as well keep it. We got a couple cohos. There he is. Dinner, little coho. That was on the knee shine crank. Uh, I'm just getting out here. Do you want to meet me in Sheboygan? Uh, sure. Let's try it. Be Hell yeah, let's try it. All right, guys. So had a pretty good morning. Ended up uh, getting four fish, a couple cohos, a couple kings. But my goodness, did we miss a ridiculous amount? Tony ended up going to work for uh, about four hours. I grabbed some lunch and uh, now I've never really fished much in Sheboygan. So for the evening, it's about an hour drive north of here. We're just gonna, Tony's done with work. He's gonna drive up to Sheboygan. I'm gonna put the boat back on the trailer. Sheboygan, like I said, Sheboygan's maybe a half hour north of Port Washington. We're gonna go up there and give it a shot, see what happens. That's the one that came off. Here, here. Heck yeah. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Looks like a coho. Heck yes. Oh, it's just No. Yeah, dude. Leave it, leave it. That's fine. Damn it. That was a coho. Put it back in. Good sign. Yeah. 0 for 1. I mean, that makes us 4 for 37. Dear Lord. Hey guys, so hopefully you learned something in this week's video, how to troll up some cohos and king salmon early fall with crankbaits. If you haven't tried it, I promise you, it works really, really good. Yes, you can troll them up with spoons. Yes, you can troll them up with J-plugs and even flasher flies and meat rigs in the fall as well. But this week's video was trolling them up with crankbaits. We didn't put the beat down on them. We had a lot of opportunities and I missed more fish than I've missed in probably three years. But it just goes to show you, they will pound crankbaits 
when they're staging in this warmer water this time of the year. Thanks for watching this week's video. Leave me a comment, hit that subscribe button. Every week we're gonna be cranking out new content. Thanks for watching guys. See ya.